touchdowns after looking at the film, what are you seeing and how close is this offense to, to making the plays to sustain drives and score? Yeah, we are close. And I think this past Sunday just was uh, a result of us hurting ourselves. Um, you know, if we can just kind of string together these positive plays and um, not allow a negative play or a penalty um, to disrupt that, I think we'll have a chance to, to do what we want. How easy is it to make some of those fixes and, and get on track? Um, you know, it it's conversations and um, being able to communicate and, um, you know, understanding the rules and, and things that Vrabel kind of talks throughout the week of what these refs and, and um, you know, what these umpires are looking for. So. Um, alongside of that, it's just, you know, the negative plays, the sacks, um, negative runs, those are execution problems, and those are things that are fixed out on the, on the practice field. What do you see from them on defense? Um, you know, they, again, they've got guys, I feel like I say this every single week, but, um, you know, they got kind of great players all across the board. Um, you know, you talk about Harris and, uh, and Vaughn, um, you know, those guys have been all pro type players for quite some time now. Um, you know, so for us again, it, it's it's a challenge. It's a uh, um, you know opportunity, and uh, we just got to go make the most of it. How much do you, do you feel like the weights helped key the durability to this point? I would say it helped. Um, you know, and I think um, being able to play and function at that weight, uh, it feels good. And um, you know, it's it's on me to continue to uh, eat more calories and do all those other extra stuff so that um, the weight stays where it's at. Half that how scary was that watching that again? How close was that to possibly being something serious? Yeah, I was lucky for, um, and sometimes um, just those things happen. Um, you know, I, I think he was just uh, playing as hard as he could. He wanted to get to the to the quarterback. Um, you know, I don't fault him. It's not. I don't think it was anything personal. Um, so uh, it, it's kind of the nature of the beast and the nature of the game that we play. Um, but I was definitely lucky for sure. A frustrating game on Sunday. How, how do you keep? How important is it to kind of keep things positive, to keep things uh, optimistic? And how do you do that uh, during the course of the practice week? Well, I think just being grateful. Um, you know, I, I I think every opportunity that you have to walk in this building, um, it's a privilege. And you know, no matter what wins, losses, um, you know, you just got to keep your head up high and, and um, move on. Um, you know, I think our guys did a great job of flushing and. Um, Getting ready for the next game, and um, you know I, I don't I don't feel like there's any sort of uh, negativity, and guys just got to continue to to work. Do you go out of your way to encourage guys? I can't imagine being a pep talk guy every day, but how do you handle the course of the practice week as far as keeping guys up and doing it yourself? Well, I think it starts with 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 you, with me. Um, you know, I think if you come in here with your head down, um, you know, feeling sorry for yourself, uh, that kind of sets the the mood of the the day for everybody around you. So um, just being able to, again, be grateful, come out here, have some fun in the field, and just move on. What would you say is the biggest uh, requirement to be able to, to stay calm in that pocket while so much is going on and it's so muddy? Um, it's just, I think it's my job, man. Um, you know, I, I really believe that uh, you have to take some some of these hits just to, to give our guys chances to make plays. And, um, you know, it, the pass rush in this league, um, the guys that we face week in and week out, um, they're just they're incredible athletes. So uh, we, you know, I understand that's kind of the, some that I have to deal with week in and week out and something that's not concerning to me. Rabel and several of the guys in the locker room have said that, that one of the key problems with the offense is not translating what happens out there and in the meeting rooms into the field. What do you think is happening that's not allowing that execution to happen? Um, I, I really some some of it I think is just trusting what we do in practice, trusting, you know, the looks, trusting um, that everything that we've done through the preparation is is going to happen, and and we just got to go out there and do it. Um, so it it is it is tough because when things are moving a million miles a you know a second, it's tough to just kind of trust that what you're doing is is the right thing to do. Um, but that's just things that we have to continue to carry over in practice and just reiterate to our guys that um, what you're seeing is what you're going to get. Fixable problem? I would say so, yeah. Marcus, you guys didn't have a lot of, of deep throws downfield uh, against Buffalo. Was that primarily game plan or, or were there other factors that, that, that went into that uh, as well? Well, I think you got to give credit to them too. Um, you know, they did a good job of keeping 
you know, staying on top of things, um, you know, and uh, I think their their guys on the back end did a good job of, um, you know, just not allowing anything over the head. So, um, you know, aside from the first play when we hit Delaney, um, that was called back, uh, we really didn't have a chance, an opportunity to go make some of those plays. How much does play action help your game specifically? Um, well, it helps when you got 2-2 back there, for sure. Um, you know, you get favorable boxes, you get opportunities to, um, you know, create some sort of uh, deception. And, and, you know, our guys, I think, do a great job of kind of filling the zones or they understand that it's man, they know that they can take, take their time and, and work the route a little bit. So it's a combination of a lot of different things. Um, but when you, hit, when you run the ball the, the way that we do, uh, it creates some favorable matchups. Cody, and I guess you're hoping he just kicks extra points. Um, is that kind of the message to him as he comes in? Yeah, I mean, you know, it should never come down to something like that. And, um, you know, obviously we got to do a better job of scoring touchdowns. Um, but uh, whoever whoever it may be, um, you know, he's, he's going to be able to, to – or he's going to have an opportunity to do his job, and um, I'm sure he's going to do it to the best of his abilities. Marcus, you guys have kind of been in a pattern for a year or so of win a game, it would look really good, and then the next week it's not quite so good. Is there any sort of culture problem that you see with that? You know, what do you think the issue No, I don't is? think there's a culture problem. Um, you know, obviously consistency is something that we've preached all offseason, things that we um, want to get better at. Um, but no, I don't think there's anything culturally that's wrong with this team. Marcus, you know, you've gotten a, a check from the NCAA uh, as it pertains to the, the lawsuit uh, settlement I have. Does that mean anything to you just to be getting that, you know, after the fact? Um, yeah, for sure. I, I think um, it, it's it's definitely nice, and um, at the same time, you know, I don't I don't know really much more than on to talk on the topic, but you know, I appreciate the fact that they they took their time to donate some of that stuff to us who played before. Thank you guys. Have a good one.